Here's Trevor Denman with the call. Runner set. And away they go in the Battle of the Sexes match race. And Julie Crone pops the gate here with Woke Up Dreaming. And Julie Crone goes straight to the lead. But Pat Valenzuela wants that lead. He's now sending Chester's Choice through down at the rail. They run to the 7 8 pole, and Chester's Choice has come through quickly on the inside now, but they nose and nose as they go past the 7 8 pole. Chester's Choice and Pat Valenzuela is on a loose rein. He's having to ask him to keep up down at the rail. Woke up dreaming, and Julie Crowen very comfortable on the outside, and they're flying along too. They go on to the back stretch still, a nose separating them. Julie Crowen now putting the head of Woke up dreaming just in front. Chester's choice, Pat Valenzuela having to work at him to keep up on the inside, but however, they are still nose and nose as Chester's choice comes right back. This has to be the quintessential match race out here, just a dream. They nose and nose almost from the opening of the gate. Chester's choice, Pat Valenzuela at the rail. Woke up dreaming, and Julie Crone still sitting snug on the outside. They go past the 3 8 pole, head and head. Chester's choice, can he dig deep and find more now? Woke up dreaming, still nose and nose as they come to this quarter pole. Woke up dreaming on the outside, now asked to kick on for home. And Julie Crone's looking strong. Julie's opening up. Chester's choice tries to find more. Pat Valenzuela urging, but Chester's choice is a very weary second. They turn for home now and woke up dreaming. He's also kind of tired. These two have gone at it. Ding dong from the opening of the gate. Woke up dreaming, breathing fire, but he's hanging on. Chester's Choice and Pat Valenzuela making one last desperate run at them. Julie Crone has to get something more out of Woke Up Dreaming. Woke Up Dreaming, Chester's Choice, a dream finish. Pat Valenzuela gets up. Chester's Choice beats Woke Up Dreaming in a photo. Are you kidding me? Did I just see that? <laughs> that is unbelievable. What a race by both riders. I, at the top of the stretch, Patrick Valenzuela's horse looked like he wanted a place to lay down. Oh, he switched to his right lead early before he straightened for home, Pat. Switch, I mean, uh, Todd, I'm thinking of Patrick. Unbelievable. Switches back to his left lead. And then down the lane, he's on his left lead, and he's so tired. Patrick's tired riding. I mean, this is just unbelievable. It was a sheer fact. It came down to when it was all said and done what we thought might be the separator was stamina. Yeah. Woke up dreaming, was suspect at the distance. Bob Baffert expressed concerns about being this horse being suspect uh, to being at his best at a mile and 16th. And we're looking here, Patrick Valenzuela, as I thought he might do in, in, you know, in match race situation, we probably had to do, really guns this horse from the inside. Now, once he's here, he really does not want to take back out of there and give Julie Crone. She's on the outside. She's got kind of control of the race from the outside. He doesn't want to give away that inside position here and let her, her get the jump. So he now he's having to ride. His horse is getting taken out of his comfort zone. He is a route horse. He she, he laid a length behind a 46 and two half mile last time out. 44. Four, and I, I still two. can't believe that number. 44 and two for this the half. This horse's here today. eyes are like rolling back in his head right now. He doesn't know. <laughs> he can't breathe. He he can't relax. He can't do anything. And he finally was obviously able to find a little bit of a second win. Uh, not much of one, but enough to rally back just amazing and look at this he's going to go from his rail position to the outside basically because his horse is tired and dropping out of it. he's desperate he's totally desperate the horse is going to switch to his right lead right here right here he's on his right lead look at his body turn sideways he's on his right lead when he mo goes to move him out he switches back to his left lead right there he's back on his left lead and patrick's just looking for something to give this horse a reason to come back he tried to make him switch leads right there the horse is so tired he can't switch Patrick finally gives up, just goes back to ride and switches back to his right hand. Julie's horse woke up dreaming, is even more tired. <laughs> Unfortunately, Julie tried to kick clear at the top of the lane and put the race away. Patrick's horse on his left lead just keeps grinding away, and the, the difference was just sheer stamina. And you know, I'll tell you what, Patrick Valenzuela was so reserved. I mean, he didn't really want to even talk about this match race that much because he's in an intense battle for the jockey's title. But he let it all out after the race. I mean, he was very excited to win this. This was not an exhibition. This now puts him two wins up in the rider's standings. He's very excited. But also, we should note, there was a great display of sportsmanship when they both jogged back on their horses. They reached out and shook, shook each other's hands. And that's important. At the end of the day, being a gracious loser, as Julie Crone pointed out. Tremendous performance here in this match race.